what's up everybody this is your boy Anton and we'll, I welcome you to my special edition channel vlog with Anton my digital diary so today is 26th of February 2021 I am going to departure from Singapore and head back to Malaysia ever since last year 2020 March to the total lockdown of the COVID-19 pandemic I haven't been going back to Malaysia ever since so until today so in this video I'm going to share with you my journey and as experience and some for as useful information whether you are going to return to Malaysia yourself or just for your own information so throughout this whole video I will be doing the sharing because uh, some of the places I cannot be video recording as you know when you come to the custom border so you have to be understand so there are no video recording for that session uh, I'm on my way this, mo this morning on my way to the Woodland Custom Checkpoint so right now the whole I can, I can tell you that the whole CIA uh, custom immigration border is totally empty you only can see one or two people crossing, crossing the border so all right we are already going past the border uh, have uh, going through the immigration and now we are on our way downstairs to the bus station so first and foremost I can tell you uh, the all the public bus service that travel looping from JB to to Woodlands the bus 9, 950, 170 and 160 those, bus, those public buses transportation also not in service anymore uh, we're only waiting for the Fido bus to come and fetch us and yeah you need to pay one dollar or uh, one, one sing dollar or uh, three ringgit, Malaysian ringgit for the bus ride and the they need to be wait patiently because the bus only came like uh, every once in, a, in an hour yeah first and first thing I can really feel that it's been quite a, such a long time I never see such a scenery again looking at the seaside but of course only this time the whole causeway bridge is totally empty and of course you are not allowed to walk across the bridge like what we used to have last time no matter how you still need to wait for the video bus to come and fetch you One important thing is uh, I recommend that you need to download this uh, document first uh, it's called the LOU document for Malaysians and also there's another letter for approval that is for non-Malaysians you can find the link at the description down below so what is this letter is all about is once you go through the border the custom officers also they recommend you to fill up this form as well so in the description once if you can go through go into the website you will find that something looks like this is the High Commission of Malaysia of London so right here LOU letter approval for enter Malaysia so for the Malaysian you can click here to download that form and for the non-Malaysian or PR or long pass visits and others uh, you can click on this 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 uh, description this right here to get the the other form it looks something like this so what you need to fill up is to fill up some of the your personal information your names your IC your address the address is you need to give in your destination address like for instance I'm going back to Penang so my <coughs> my address is I need to write down my Penang hometown address and also the quarantine date from when to when and uh, 
for for my personal experience, uh, previously is you need to quarantine for fourteen days, but nowadays only for ten days. You need to quarantine for ten days only, and also if you have a if you all travel in the family group, you need to split up your family particulars, your children or your guardian as well at the uh, four pages. There are total four pages of this uh, LOU form. The thing is, there's another apps you I can rec I need to recommend you to download first before you uh, proceed to the immigration border. You need to download this app. It's called My Sajatara Apps. It is something similar like in Singapore when we used to have the Trace Together apps. The function is slightly similar. Once you use this app to scan wherever you are going, just to trace together. So in Malaysia version is My Sajatara. Yes, uh, I need to inform that you need to stand by some cash as well in Malaysian currency. Why? Because uh, once you reach the border, if you don't have the Malaysian number, yeah, you can bought the you can buy you can purchase the the SIM card from there. Uh, it costs around like forty five ringgit. And next, uh, you need to pay your pay the swap test fee yourself. Its total cost uh, two hundred and ten uh, Malaysian ringgit as well. Uh, which I have evidence here. These are the 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 information for this month. So and also you need to pay for your own hotel fee for your own hotel quarantine. It costs around like one thousand five hundred uh, up to two thousand five hundred. And of course, this is subject to change. So once you have all these documents prepared, so. Crossing the Causeway Bridge and reach to the Malaysian Customs Border, uh, things will be going in very smooth sailing, uh, and very in easy hand. And once you all the travelers got their particulars done and all their registration done, payment done, so your next step is to move out to the back end of the the, <coughs> the custom border. Because you need to wait for another video bus to come and fit, fetch you. Once I go through the cost, the custom, I got a, I, I, I have an option to choose that rather I need, I, I, I can self quarantine at home or maybe I can uh, choose the hot, uh, quarantine at the hotel. But according to, I asked one of the COVID uh, forces officers, they told me that if you need to self quarantine at home, you must have a doc, uh, the doctor approval letter. To every to prove that you are allowed to do self quarantine at home. Once you go through the go into the bus, the bus will directly bring you to the hot where which whichever location hotel that is available. So once you are there, you still need to follow as according to the Malaysian uh, SOP government's laws. So for my instance, I reached to this hotel. Now I'm at the, I'm at the Crystal Crown Hotel. So once you reach in in this hotel, you we need to sit in the uh, uh, one meter distance uh, uh, group because here this is where the LOU letter. Remember the LOU letter that I mentioned earlier? Yeah. Once you if you fill up already, which means once you arrive at the hotel lobby. Now this is the part that they ask you to fill in the particulars and all, and also use your MySajatera apps to scan the hotel QR code just to trace that you are you are here. So after all the registration ha are done, next step is to they take your particulars at the counter. So they take your passport and IC just for registration, and. They also give you a, a briefing of uh, what to do and don't do during your uh, your ten days quarantine here. And yeah, as far as I know, that if you already have your swab test in Singapore or or or, or wherever at your particular country, if you already have your swab test, you 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 it's it's important you bring along your results because if you have that result which means you only need to you only can quarantine for four uh, seven days only only is quarantine uh, a week and after that you will be released if you don't have that you need to quarantine for 10 days two weeks and once you get your registration all done and the rules in this uh, hotel quarantine here is 
twenty within the twenty four hours you are not a, allowed to leave the room. So <clears throat> three meals will be served during the whole day. Three meals will be served: breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And if you need anything, there is a room service uh, number that you can order. Yeah, and so the whole journey took around like during the morning. I've been travel. I was entered the Singapore Immigration Custom around ten o'clock or eleven, and just the whole morning, the whole afternoon, waiting for the bus go through the custom, cross the causeway, do the registration, come to the hotel, and all. Everything is been settled now. Once. Once I reach my hotel room, my quarantine room, it's already eight eight thirty, going to nine. So you can imagine that the whole process takes a, a a whole long day. Last and foremost information I forgot to mention is the custom checkpoint at Woodlands. The time has already changed to seven to seven. So unlike like、uh, last time, it's twenty four hours. Nowadays they change only to seven to seven. They start open the border at seven a.m. and then they close all the border at seven p.m. So after seven, there will be no more federal bus. There will be no more officers duty there. Only the only the few officers officers duty on the gate of the、uh, the checkpoint. And I hope that this will、uh, give you a good、uh, good guidance for your whole trip if you want to、uh, travel out from Singapore and come into Malaysia. So once again, I thank everyone for watching this video. Ah,、uh, if you like what I'm doing here and what if you like what I'm sharing here, yes, please give a thumbs up and like the video and share some of the information to you, to your friends or for your own information. So once again, thank you for watching, and I hope you all stay home and stay safe. As for those who are quarantined here, I best I wish all of you to、uh, stay healthy and keep busy. This is your boy Anton checking out. Later. Oh, 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 oh,